Kia ora, good morning. It is Thursday. It is a brave new world of a 1% official cash rate. Uh, Governor Orr, if you were listening, watching, I, I took my cues from you this morning. I woke up and I spent. Yeah, I'll recycle that carbon. The lid's compostable. It's fine. It's totally fine. Anyway, I am Mike from Markets. This is Kiwi Bank Markets in more or less a minute. More. Yeah, first things first, the RBNZ's shock, 50 point cash rate cut yesterday. Uh, so what they said, why they might have said it, what it might mean, it, the hard stuff. Uh, Kiwi Economics have covered all of that in their outtake report. Uh, you don't need to hear it secondhand from me, just click the link below. It's down there somewhere. Uh, oh, and if you want to relive that cash rate cut moment, or you just don't like reading, which is fine, uh, click the other link below down there somewhere uh, and you can see our chief economist and head of, finan bleh, head of financial markets talk about what went down spoiler alert rates and currency yeah right uh, global markets overnight it's more my bag uh, no major data releases so a box we don't have to tick that's good uh, equities they are mixed US indices slightly lower Europe slightly higher Asia slightly lower commodities oil is a lead balloon it's off the pace by almost five percent this morning gold Helium balloon uh, up 2% above 1500 US dollars an ounce, highest level since 2013. So oil lower, gold higher, setting aside the lack of unified direction in equities, it looks like the world is still very much in risk off mode this morning. Uh, the RBNZ surprise cut, that certainly added to the risk off theme, as did surprise cuts from the central banks of India and Thailand yesterday. Yeah. All of that central bank cutting action likely played into pricing for the future actions of other central banks like the Fed. So on that, increasing expectations of lower US interest rates, that helped push the yields on 10-year US government bonds to fresh three-ish year lows overnight. Okay, currencies. The New Zealand dollar, it hit a low of 63.78 US cents yesterday afternoon and spent the overnight session grinding higher, uh, 64.67 US cents at the time of recording just before 7 o'clock. Um, maybe the market is just trying to feel out an appropriate new level for the Kiwi. Maybe the market has decided the rest of the central banking world will follow the RBNZ's lead in some shape or form and that's eroding the Kiwi's decline. It's probably a combination. It's always a combination of a lot of things. Uh, okay, that is enough from me. We will talk more about the Kiwi in first hand and trying to figure out what's going on there. Happy Thursday. Kaikitiano.